Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay. So before we actually proceed with our um, discussion, let's I I will just remind you about the the slopes. Okay, of our parallel lines, they must be equal. Okay. And as for perpendicular lines like this one, like so, the slopes are negative reciprocals okay they must always be negative reciprocals now um regarding this um values of slopes and also ano, um for the parallel and perpendicular lines let me just um tell you about the symbol that we use to say whether the line say line l and line k are parallel or perpendicular so we, in this case in this first example yan we say that um, line L is parallel to line K. This is our symbol for um, parallel lines. These two lines here. Okay. Now, as for this one, say we have this is line L and this is line K again. For us to um, say the re uh, to state the relationship, we say it as L line L is perpendicular to line K. So, this is the symbol that we use. Okay the perpendicular line okay so before we proceed to the equation itself let's have first an example some examples of how to determine whether um, the two lines given are parallel or not so example number one say we have this um, given point I uh, given line a having points at 1 4 and 3 and 9 and we have this line B having the points negative 1 and 7 and we have 1 and 12 okay so we have to determine is a line a parallel to line b or is line a perpendicular to line b which one of these two is correct kaya okay so for us to determine whether they are parallel or not or perpendicular we have to determine the slope okay Again, the only thing that will um, show you the relationship of parallelism and perpendicularity will depend upon the slope. So, let's say this is m sub 1 and this is our m sub 2. Okay? For m sub 1, what we need to do is we need to um, recall the formula for the slope, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay? So, knowing this value, po, okay, knowing this equation I, formula, I mean, Substituting the values for m sub 1, we have 9 minus 4 and we have 3 minus 1, giving us a value of the slope as 5 over 2. So, this is our slope. Let me box that. Now, as for m sub 2, what would be the value for that? So, it would be the same formula. So, let's just um, substitute the given. This is um, 12 minus 7 over 1 minus negative 1 giving us a value for the slope as 12 minus 7 simply 5 and 1 minus negative 1 the answer is 2 so meaning m sub 1 slope is 5 over 2 and m sub 2 slope is also 5 over 2 so you can easily view they are the same and if they are the same if m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2 okay, let me just write this down if m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2 then line a is parallel to line b okay so this is how we determine whether the lines are parallel or um, perpendicular okay so let's have another example um say we have our line e as negative two thirds and we have our line f i, I mean line e and four two and we have our um line f as 4 and 7 and we have negative 2 and negative 1 okay so finding the slope m sub 1 and m sub 2 so you ask yourself are they parallel i mean e pala is e parallel to f or is e perpendicular to f which one is it kaya so yan so having this um let's try to find the slope now m sub 1 will give you a slope of 2 minus 3 and 4 minus negative 2 being this value being 2 minus 3 is negative 1 
over um, 6, 1 over 6, I guess, yes. Okay, and our m sub 2 is simply um, negative 1 minus 7 all over negative 2 minus 4, giving us a value of negative 8, I think, yeah, negative 8 over negative 6, and this would be simply positive 8 over 6, or um, divide by 2, this is 4 over 3. So we have negative 1 over 6 and 4 over 3. So definitely, they are not, okay, definitely, they are not equal, cause, and they are not parallel, because they are not equal, eh. Definitely not equal. So m sub 1 is definitely not equal to m sub 2. Therefore, they are not, E is not parallel to F. Okay. So how about for the second relationship, the perpendicular? So when it comes to perpendicular, what we need to do is we need to check, is m sub, we need to check the reciprocal, negative reciprocal of m sub 1, which is negative 1, 6. Getting the reciprocal of that would give you 6, positive 6. So, is positive 6 equal to m sub 2? But we know that m sub 2 is equals to 4 over 3. Okay? Therefore, they are still not equal. Okay? And they are not, I mean, they are not negative reciprocals. Therefore, we can say that, okay, we can say that they are not also, E is not also perpendicular to F. Not perpendicular. Because again, they are not negative reciprocal. So, our aim here, guys, our aim here is if we try to get negative reciprocal of one slope, it must be equal to m sub or the other slope. If we try to get the negative reciprocal of m sub 1, which is of course 6, it must be equal to m sub 2. Okay? And since they are not equal, therefore, um, they are not perpendicular. Okay? So that would be um, examples of how to determine whether lines are perpendicular or not by simply checking the slope and there are multiple of ways of checking the slope of any given line okay and this is just one but our main focus for today is finding finding the line perpendicular or parallel to another okay so, for example, um, I gave you this line. I gave this line. Give me one line that is perpendicular to this one. That is our aim for today. Or maybe I will ask you, give me one line that is parallel to this one. Okay? So, that is our aim for today. Let's look for the lines that is parallel or perpendicular to another line. Okay? So, most given will be like this. Say we have this given point, um, given equation. Um, say we have 3x plus 5y is equals to 10, okay? 3x plus 5y is equals to 10. And this is our line, our existing line, and the given point is simply 1 and 2. So I will ask you, find a line, find a line, okay, parallel and perpendicular perpendicular to 3x plus 5y is equals to 10 passing passing through 1 and 2. So how do we solve these kinds of problem? You are being asked of for the equation of a line that is parallel perpendicular to 3x plus 5y that is passing through 1 and 2. So the very first step that you need to do, first step first step okay sorry let me rewrite this one the first step okay. first step that you need to do is you need to find the slope you need to find the initial slope of the original line find the slope of the um, first line Find the slope of the first line. So, finding the slope of that will lead us to the concept of the slope-intercept form. Why do we need to um, recall the SIF? Why do we need to recall the SIF? Okay? Because in the SIF, um, let me just um, show you the SIF. 
y is equal to mx plus b. In the SIF, the slope is very visible kasi the slope would be immediately beside x. In this case, we have 3x plus 5y is equal to 10. It's not yet in the SIF form. So what we need to do is we need to transform the given in the SIF form. So transforming that will give us the following um, solution. So let's get the equation. We have 3x plus 5y is equal to 10. What we need to do here in SIF is, as, as I have discussed to you before, you need to transpose everything beside y to the other side. So transposing that, I will not repeat my ano, my discussion on the previous one, will give you um, this. Let me just move x before then. So negative 3x plus 10 and divide everything by 5. Okay. So dividing everything by 5 will give you, of course, y is equals to negative 3 over 5x plus 10 divided by 5. The answer is 2. So in this one, in this case, the slope for the first equation here, m sub 1, is equals to negative 3 fifths. Okay? The slope is negative 3 fifths. Now, what we need to do, our second step, is we need to, ano ba kailangan natin? We need to get the line that is parallel and perpendicular. Now, what we need to do is we need to use the point, uh, the intercept, slope intercept form. I wait lang, not slope intercept. It's point slope form. Ayan. So, we need to use the point slope form. So, let's go to the second step. Okay. Use the point slope form. Point slope, yes. Use the point slope form to find to find the, the line parallel or perpendicular. Okay? Parallel or perpendicular. And before we go there, we must list down what do we have. Of course, we have the point 1 and 2. And what do we have else? We, what do we need when, it, when we have point slope form? We have the point already. This one. We need the slope. And the slope that is given to us is negative 3 fifths. Okay? So this is the slope. Oh, sorry, slope to line. Okay, we have the slope. Okay? So having the point and slope, we can now find the equation of the line. So now, in this case, we are um, going to find the equation of the second line. Okay? And if we would find the equation of the second line, um, be, whether it is parallel or perpendicular, we must have our m sub 2. Okay? So what we need to do is we need to find m sub 2 of parallel. And m sub 2 of parallel will give you equal. Because remember, parallel lines will have equal slopes. Therefore, the m sub 2 would also be yeah, negative 3, or, uh, 3 over 5. So again, we have now our point 1, 2. Our second, uh, our slope, second slope is negative 3 fifths. We can now find the equation using the point slope form. Substitute it. Point slope form is just simply y minus y sub 1 is equals to m times x minus x sub 1. Substitution po will give you y minus 2 is equals to negative 3 fifths times x minus 1. Okay? What would happen here? Let's remove the fraction po. So, giving us 5y minus 10 is equals to negative 3 times x minus 1. Evaluating further, this would give us 5y minus 10 is equals to negative 3x plus 3. And finally, giving us an equation of 3x plus 5y is equals to 13. And this would be our equation of the, hindi lang basta line, equation of the parallel line. Okay? So, equation of the parallel line. And let's box it up. Ayan. Box natin. This is the equation of the parallel line. So, you're done already for the parallel. But what we need to do is we also, you are being asked also to find the perpendicular line. So, let's go back to, let me undo that. Let's go back to m sub 1. 
M sub 1 states that, I mean, for the perpendicular line, okay, it states that you need to find the negative reciprocal. Negative reciprocal. And for us to get the negative reciprocal for R, for M sub 2, we need simply to interchange the position of 3 and 5. That would be 5 and 3. Okay? And we need to get the positive slope. Kasi this is negative. Yeah, negative. So this is positive. So therefore, this would be our M sub 2. Just simply get the negative reciprocal. So now, we can now find the, per the perpendicular line. Kasi we have the point of 1 and 2. And we have the M sub 2 being... 5 over 3 for the perpendicular line. So, what would happen here is we need simply to substitute. Substitute lang natin on the y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Okay, let me move that a little bit. Okay. Okay, there you go. So, substitu substituting y minus 2 is equals to 5 thirds times x minus 1, giving us y minus, sorry, let me remove the fraction, 3y minus 6 is equals to 5 times x minus 1, giving us again um, 3y minus 6 is equals to 5x minus 5. Transposing everything on the other side, negative 5x plus 3y is equals to positive 1. Changing the sign of x to positive, so it will give us 5x minus 3y is equals to negative 1. This is the equation of the perpendicular line. And let's box this out. Okay. So basically, there are just simply, you know, um, I think that's, those are two steps, I guess. Yeah, first step and second step. Though the second step is a little bit complicated, but on our next example, I will make it um, less detailed, okay? Straight to the point, okay? So, let's have an example number 2. Say we have negative 3 and 4. And we have the equation being for x minus 6y is equals to 9. So, you're being asked, what is the equation of the parallel and perpendicular line that is passing through this point. Okay? So, given this, let's try to find first the slope. Okay? So, for the 4x uh, minus 6y, so we will transform our given into the slope-intercept form. Okay? So, this will give us negative 6y is equals to 9. Sorry. Let me undo that. Negative 4x plus 9 divided by negative 6 divided by negative 6. Y is equals to, let me move this a little bit. You know that. Y is equals to negative 4 over negative 6x plus 9 over negative 6. Simplifying our given, it will give us neg um, positive 2 over 3x. Um, minus, this would be 3 halves, minus 3 halves. So, this is in, not important. The important part would be the slope, giving us a slope, okay, m sub 1 of 2 thirds, okay? And to make everything easier, let's now find the parallel slope and perpendicular slope. For the parallel slope, parallel slope, okay, the m sub 1 is equal to 2 thirds, Therefore, the m sub 2 must also be equal to 2 thirds kasi parallel slopes are equal. Now, for the perpendicular, perpendicular slope, okay? For the perpendicular slope, our slope is of course m sub 1. For the first one is 2 thirds. Our slope for m sub 2 must be the negative reciprocal. Oh, sorry, that's not trap. Recip. Okay, negative reciprocal of 2 thirds being 3 over 2 negative. So, therefore, our slope for this one is negative 3 over 2. Okay, so let's solve for the equation for parallel and for the perpendicular. So, let's go for number 1 first. Okay, for number 1, parallel lines. 
parallel equation pala. Okay? So, parallel equation, we are given m sub 1 is equal to 2 thirds and our point being negative 3 and 4. Negative 3 and 4 will give us, I'm um, using um, the point slope form, using the point slope form will give us y minus 4 is equal to 2 thirds times x plus 3. It's a double negative yan, dinaretso ko na. Eliminating the 3 will give us 3y minus 4, 8, 12. 12 is equals to, distribute na natin si 2 and dun sa 3 and x. We have 2x plus 6. Okay, so transposing everything will give you negative 2x plus 3y is equals to 6 plus 12. And finally, evaluating and changing the sign of everything, giving us 2x minus 3y equals to negative 18. Equation of parallel line. And next, we have number 2, perpendicular. Perpendicular line. So, our perpendicular slope is negative 3 over 2. Okay? So, our m sub 2 is negative 3 over 2 and our point is negative 3 and same. Okay? By the way, this is m sub 2 pala. Sorry. So, going with this, let's try to find the equation of the line using the point slope form. Y is sorry. Y minus 4 is equals to negative 3 halves times x plus 3. Transposing the 2 will give us, will give us 2y um, plus, I'm um, sorry, not plus, minus 8 equals to negative 3x, yeah, negative 3x minus 9. And finally, transposing everything to its right place, this is 3x plus 2y is equals to negative 9 plus 8, giving us, simplify na natin yan, giving us negative 1. And since everything checks out, this would be your equation of the perpendicular line. Now, I know this one is a little bit complicated for looking the equation of the parallel and perpendicular line. But, uh, practice makes perfect. Okay, so, paulit-ulit lang. And in any case class, the method is the same for every given um, example. But, the examples will only change. The given will change. But, the method, formula, equation will stay the same. Okay? So just simply practice more, especially in our quizzes. So if you have any other questions, you can go back to the video or you can ask me in our chat group. Thank you again everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.